Welcome to the HFT Stocks and Options Commentary. I'm Pablo Navarro. Today is Tuesday, May 14, 2013. For the volatility index, the dollar weighted put call ratio on the VIX, we have a bullish reading on May with 43% of the total premiums paid and neutral readings on June and July with 37 and 11% of the total premiums paid. For SPX, here we have the daily chart for the the SPX, as you can see here, let me take out something here. Just uh, oh. you can see here, we have a big update today, above one percent for the day. And the important things here, as you can see it here, is that we touched today 1650. I'm looking for 1659 as a an very oversold level. I would very absolutely short there. And that's the level I'm watching as a last resort here on the upside. So 1659 is going to be my line in the sand. That's going to be a very overbought level, not oversold, overbought. And I'm going to be bearish from there. I'm looking for a pullback to around this 50-day moving average, which is at 1550, 1575. By the time we get there, around 1600 would be the target so not much of a pullback maybe a 50 point pullback so I'm bearish here on SPX short term for the Q's today we were down uh, up 0.5 we were lagging here we are making high here but again lagging the other indices that's because of Apple and we'll talk again on that I'm gonna remain neutral on the Q's because Apple has a big part of it I don't wanna be Meshing around with one stock that controls half of the index performance or a quarter of the index performance. So I'm bearish on the SPY, I'm neutral on the Qs, and I'm bearish on IWM. As you could see here on IWM, we are also at a new all time high. I'm looking for a pullback, and that pullback would be around the 94 level right now. Maybe test before here. 95.30, 95.70, 90, 94.70 before going to that 95 level, 94 level, GLD. Here we have the daily chart for GLD. We were down 0.45% for the day. As you can see here on the chart, we're still not able to rally here. We had a reversal. We failed the reversal, closing at the lows of the day, outside bar. Pretty bearish here. You could see an increase in volume today from the day before. I think we're going lower. I would be looking for a test of this get here. Now going for SLV. We are bearish on SLV down 1.14% for the day. Pretty much the same pattern here. I think we're this silver is gonna lead closing almost at the lows of the day. As you can see it here. No outside bar, but still bearish here. Volume was good. And I think we're going lower. The target here is 22. Apple, down 2.5% for the day. 2.4 down. As you can see here, we failed here at this level we talked about. We talked about seeing a weekly close. We did not see that. And look how it's rolling over. Next target here, 434, 435. That's going to be the target. That is the 50-day moving average. I think we're going to get there. But here you can see we have also there that confluence level on that level. So look at that level as some type of support. So bearish here in Apple for 10 more, 8 more points. Google. Google making a new all-time high. We talk, It touched our 880 target. I wouldn't get short this name. Maybe lift your stops and sell something here and then um, let it ride. Maybe it's going higher. Amazon. I wouldn't chase Google here that, at that price also. Amazon here having a good day today. I think next target for Amazon is going to be this previous high here, which was. Um, 277 we have 10 more points to the upside in my opinion but um maybe 275 is going to be some type of support resistance there i want to see how we handle that level 
Goldman Sachs, bullish, very nice day. As you can see here, three and a quarter percent higher for the day. I was looking for 155, and if we break that 155 level, our next target would be 157, then looking for a 159.